Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are here in the Patan district province in Gujarat to get a glimpse of Hazrat Sultan Sayyid Haji Hud rahmatullahi This is the shrine of Hazrat Sultan Sayyid Haji Hud rahmatullahi located in Patan province in Gujarat. In the beginning I will show you around the area first and then we can move on to the storyline. Here you can see an inscription in Gujarati language which I am not probably aware of. So, Hazrat Sultan Sayyid Haji Hud Rahmatullah was actually a king of his time during 1025 AD and 460 Nal Hijri. His father's name was Sayyid Adnan Rahmatullah He also had a laqab which is Subhani Abdullah. Uh, Sultan Sayyid Haji Hud Rahmatullah after attaining Vilayat has received the basharat of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and after that he came to the Patan province. As you can see there are a lot of mazarats in this area and when I had a conversation with the Khadimin of this province I came to know that he came along with his entire family along with his wazir whose name was Sayyid Haji Hassan and along with his family members but along with his family two princes from Rome and one prince from Sham has also came to this area when I had a deviating conversation about this mazar -e mubarak with the Khadimin I came to know about a little bit of fact I will surely inform you about it as you can see I am unable to get inside just because of there are a lot of mazaras in that and it would be not good to just step inside so I am taking a video from the outside premises and I will definitely give you an outlook about the external area let's have a look when I had a conversation with the Khadimin of this area I came to know about a little historical fact about this place which is before Sultan Haji Hud Rahmatullah came to this province they ruled a king here his name was Raja Karan Gela and one of the interesting fact here is when Haji Haji Hud Rahmatullah wanted to come into this province the king did not allow it and he has forbidden him to come to this place and warned him that if he tried to enter this place so that he would send his soldiers to kill him to which Sultan Sayyid Haji Hud Rahmatullah replied that you can send your soldiers so by listening to this statement the king got angry and sent his soldiers to kill them but with the karam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the spiritual personality of Haji Hud Rahmatullah the soldiers who came to kill them accepted Islam and stayed with them when the king came to know about this fact he was shocked and he wanted to know the truth behind it so he went to the uh, Hazrat and asked to release him his soldiers to which Hazrat probably replied that I did not capture your soldiers you can take them if you want when the king asked the soldiers to come back they said that we are not interested to give back we have accepted Islam now Subhanallah so after it what happened the king began to exaggerate and he wanted to learn a little bit more about this what was the special reason behind this so the soldiers accepted Islam and in his curiosity and with the divine blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he later accepted Islam and became a Muslim and he has donated a large amount of area to the Masjid province it is probably around 80 acres of land here and there are a lot of Sufi Karam who are taking rest inside it as you can see a lot of bushes around because of low maintenance and probably the area might be in the work section or there might be some committee who would definitely make it a proper area by cutting out this kind of bushes as you can see some of these things the old inscriptions 
these are the signs of the mazarat so i am not getting into deep set because they might be some sort of mazarat or i might step into so it won't be good another thing which you can also observe is that whenever you go to visit a sufi saint you will definitely see his mazarat outside of the town and that is big house they always try to keep themselves calm and away from the worldly matters so that they can dissolve themselves into the meditation of allah see 